Happy Catter Day! Hey guys, good morning. I am just taking the boys' bowls to the kitchen because they had their breakfast. And soon, we'll need to go to the rescue because Catter Day means seeing the cats at the cattery. We just made it to the rescue and Adam's about to free all the kitties. Hey there. Hey. Oh, is she brown? Yeah. Brown and white. Huh. Hey, Cole. Hey, Cole. Wanna come out here? Oh, wow, somebody had a big mess. That's uh -oh. gonna be a problem. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Cole. Hey, Melanie. Nice. Hey. Oh, you have some strong lungs. <laughs> Hello. Do you look like Ricky? Hey, my lady. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you again, girl. You look much braver this week. Okay, Tangie. Okay, Tangie. Your favorite. No, did you see that Ricky clone? Orange cream soda. Oh, somebody's scared. Hey, sweetie. Hey, you want to come on out? Hey, honey. What's the brown one called? Oh, my lady, you do not want that, honey. That looks very old. <laughs> oh, is there somebody in those bottom in that bottom one? Yeah. Very good. Is this gorgeous, gorgeous cat? Come on, Demi. Hey, Demi. Come on. Oh, so pretty. Come see your fun. What'd you get up there? <laughs> she huh? tried to eat the food that was in there. <laughs> I don't want to that. Hey, sweetie. Hey. Oh, you're so cute. Your fur is so soft. Okay. Okay, Kitchell. He's like dying to get out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who's a cutie? Hey. Oops. Oh. Sorry, sorry. I dropped that on the floor by accident. Okay, gotta go, gotta clean. <laughs> So we've got this little cutie who is a little bit too scared to come out. Hey cutie. You like the mousy? Oh, you're so sweet. I want to pet you, but I don't think you want me to pet you. Can I pet you? You're so cute. Okay. I'm going to leave the mousy and you take a nap, okay? <laughs> We've got a little troublemaker here. <laughs> he loves his mousy, that's for sure. Hey, bud. Okay. It was good to see you. And I hope to see you again next week, unless you get adopted. All right, we are back from volunteering. So mission number one for the day is over. And now we move on to the next thing. Another one of my missions for the day is to start decorating these two shelves here. So we put them up right around the holidays and they had only been decorated with like Christmas stuff. And when we put Christmas away, I realized I didn't really have any normal stuff. So I picked up 
these, which are going to have to go in a vase, of course, and they're not meant for there. But, oops, I got all of these at Target. They were like only between three and five dollars. Okay, I'm having trouble. <laughs> but I also picked up all of these little things as well, which I think will look really cute on the little shelves. So I'm gonna try that out. Okay, well, I'm not sure I'm in love with either of them, to be honest, but we'll see once we get more stuff up there. Um, I've got my little bouquet here and I just need to find a vase to put these in. And then um, I think I'm gonna put this here and I'll be moving this guy somewhere else. So, um, we have assumed the nap time position and we'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, I just woke up from my nap and I am all the things, thirsty, hungry, tired. I'm going to have some of the pickles that Adam made, if I can get the jar open. Oh. Okay, got it. <laughs> um, these pickles are so good. I think I told you, but we made them from cucumbers we got from our farm share here at the, in the community we live in. And he had been like, the previous week we had been at, sorry, I have like a hair. We had been at um, Publix, the grocery store, and he was like, I'm dying for garlic pickles. Isn't that a thing? And apparently it wasn't a thing because we couldn't find them at the grocery store. So then when we got the cucumbers, he was like, I'm gonna make them. So that is what we have going on here. And they are honestly like the best pickles ever. I love them. Mm. Hmm. When you're like thirsty and hungry at the same time and you have a cucumber, it like satisfies all of that, plus the crunch. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, now, the question is, where do we go from here? I should go run. <laughs> um, I should do that. Okay, let's do that. Before we overthink it, let's just go do it. As much as I know, I will never regret a run when I'm done. When I wake up from a nap, it is hard to get going. So I am, like I said, not thinking about it. I'm gonna turn this machine on and I will see you in about 30 minutes. Okay, <laughs> just finished my run, nice and sweaty. <laughs> um, oh, I'm so glad I did that. I honestly feel amazing. I have so much energy now. I've really been trying to do more things in my life that will give me more energy because with running Beam Co, in addition to working my full-time job, it's really easy to run out of energy. And so some key ways that I can like increase my energy is to eat healthier and make sure I'm exercising and not skipping it because it's, it's also really easy to be like, oh, I'm so busy, I don't have time for this, I need to do X, Y, and Z for my company um, in the hours that I'm not working for my full-time job. But I'm trying to like, the business coach that I follow said that like, you really have to find ways to increase your own energy. And sometimes that means like, okay, for 20 minutes, you're not gonna work on the computer, on like the daily tasks that you have to do. Instead, you're gonna take those 20, 30 hours, 60 minutes, whatever, and do something that will increase like that energy in your body overall so yes no more skipping workouts to do work um and yeah definitely like i've been really committed for a while to going to bed earlier i usually go to bed like between 9 30 and 10 30 now and i used to go to bed between like 10 30 and midnight so that's really helped. I'm getting up earlier now because I find that I'm personally 
the most productive version of myself in the early morning when it's still kind of dark, I'm having my coffee, the house is quiet, the cats are generally settled because I feed them, and then they take their morning nap. And so I'm just trying to like find the areas of my life where like doing this duality of working my full-time job and also trying to treat Beam Co as a real business and not a hobby business, um, trying to figure out how to find the time for that and, and to be able to sustain the activities I need to do for that duality until the day comes where I can step into like, you know, the full-time role of running um, Beam Co. So anyways, this is like just lots of things that have been on my mind recently. And yeah, I don't know. I'll try to share more about that because I think it's probably things that you guys find interesting, right? I don't know. Let me know. If you find it interesting, I'll share more about that. Okay, time to go shower. All right, guys, I'm about to jump in the shower, so I'm going to sign off for tonight. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe, and I will talk to you again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!